Iowans are starting the process now of saying goodbye to longtime Iowa Governor Robert Ray, who passed away on Sunday at the age of 89. KCAU 9's Angelina Salcido joins us from the state capitol tonight, where the Governor Ray's casket lies in state, and folks have been visiting throughout the day. Well, it was a very emotional ceremony here at the state capitol. We're going to pan down here so that you guys can see the casket lying in state. Iowans have been visiting from all over Iowa to pay their respects to the late Governor Ray and his family as well. Now, there were three wreaths that were laid. You can see them right there. One was laid by the governor, one by his family, and one by the Asian community because of the impact that he had on the Asian community here in Iowa when he allowed refugees to come here to Iowa. So it was a very emotional ceremony. Um, it was heartwarming to see his family and officials that were here um, paying their respects to him. Everyone will be coming here until 8.30 p.m. tonight. And everyone that has come here, even if they don't necessarily have a memory with Governor Ray, they have been learning about him, paying their respects to him, and kind of teaching their children as well. Since they are young, they wouldn't know about him. But it is a historic moment that happened here at the state capitol. Um, for now, reporting live in Des Moines, Angelina Salcido, KCAU 9 News. Thanks, Angelino. And this afternoon, I spoke to one of those Vietnamese refugees who has um, some really touching and funny stories, too, about the governor after uh, he was brought here with his family as a teenager. An important time for that community to remember Governor Ray. And the governor welcome, welcoming them at that time when it wasn't standard. It was really a reach to right. think about that program. So Look here, that. his story tonight at 10.